some opening remarks about the game? Uh, obviously a good first and fourth quarter. Um, second and third were a little rough for us, but I did have a lot of uh, inexperience in there. So I knew that it would, if we could just get through the quarter without really uh, giving up the lead, then it was okay. I was ready to put the, the people that were in foul trouble back in, but I didn't think I needed to. So uh, I let them kind of suffer through it, but um, it was a good game overall. I mean, it was a good start. I was worried because our scrimmages, we kind of came out a little flat in the last two, um, but it was nice to see us like really focus in and, um, you know, really execute the game plan. How confident are you feeling about your new starting lineup? Um, <laughs> it's, it's good. I mean, obviously they played well together, but it's going to have to change when we start to play bigger teams. So we can't have um, Alina playing the four all the time. So I will mix it up a little bit in the first couple of weeks just to see based on who we're playing. So it may be different against George Mason. I'm not sure yet. You had all five of your freshmen in there at <laughs> once at the end there. How did that feel or how did that look to you? Um, it looked a little rough. Um, but I wanted them to see so we can go back and watch film and then they can make corrections. My assistant, uh, Emily Stalling, said this might be the only time all year you can get them in together, so get them in now. So that's what I tried to do. And it was fun for them, I think, just to play with each other. And it doesn't happen all the time in practice because I try to mix teams. And so it was, it was fun to see. You chose to go back to your starting lineup when you started the second half. What was your decision in doing that? Well, it's just how we started. I mean, we needed to come out in the first five minutes and um, kind of put it on them again. And I thought we got the lead back. And then I think they cut it to eight, I want to say. I'm not sure if it was eight or nine, uh, which made me a little nervous. But again, uh, the, the seniors and upperclassmen came through, so it was good. Yeah. What did you learn about your freshman? Uh, I learned Emily Fisher is not afraid. Um, she has exuded confidence every day in practice, and so I knew she would come in that way. Um, she just has some little tweaks to make as far as uh, pressure. Like, she's good against pressure, but she also forces things against pressure, so that kind of stuff. It was really good. I, I was actually happy the freshmen were making mistakes because they don't understand, and we talked about in the locker room how fast games are compared to practice and that we want to change that. We don't want practice and games to be at different speeds. So I think hopefully they've learned that they need to push each other more in practice. Who did you think would be today's star? Cecily. I mean, I, I felt like she was ready. She's focused. She, when, she plays better under pressure. And so she knows that she kind of has to carry the load sometimes for us. And she came out fire. So Do you it was think nice. she was? Yes. Oh, definitely. She was focused. Yeah. Do you think there was anyone that particularly surprised you today? Um, no, because the people, actually, Katie Moreni hasn't been playing great in the scrimmages. Like, she hasn't been scoring, and then she was able to get double digits tonight. So that, I don't know that it's a surprise because she scored a lot last year, but it was just good to see her kind of play with confidence. That was nice. You're also one more game closer to your 100th overall yeah. career win as a head coach. What does that mean to you? How does that feel? I don't really think about it, honestly. Um, I credit my staff. They, they do the scouts for, for the girls. So to me, it's, it's, a, it's a team effort. And I wouldn't be able to do it without the players and certainly not my staff. So I don't really focus on that. Thanks, Coach. Good. Thanks. Thanks, guys.